In the top of the AM, man. Yeah, what's going on, my brothers, man? Welcome to Scrap Stay Woke, man. Close your eyes as a blue. Open your eyes as a red. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. I'm back at your service, man. Yeah, um, I just want to touch base, man, on... Like, I'm going to just come clean, man. I'm going to just be straight up, man. Like, for my brothers, man, the black female, man, she do not fuck with you, bro. No matter the ones in your family, they do not fuck with you, bro. I'm telling you, they do not fuck with you. Like, there's no, compa no compatibility, man. At all, man. Because if you sit back and think about it, the goal of shit that they put you through, Child support You know what I'm saying Divorce court Look all the shit they put you Cheating on you You understand Look all the shit they put you through Look all the shit you gotta do To keep them happy They do not fuck with you dog At all They do not fuck with you man At all Try, They do The black females do not Fuck with you brother No matter what she doing for you No matter how she doing If she cooking, cleaning She do not fuck with you bro She tolerate you you got to understand this, man. When you look at different races of females, like, I, I can recall, for example, I'm going to give you a little story. When I was in elementary school, and this is how different races fuck with their men hard. You understand? I was in elementary, junior high school, pardon me, and um, I remember this Mexican kid. And y'all know back in junior high school, everybody used to pick on a Mexican and African kids, y'all know that everybody can relate to that. So, y'all know what I'm saying is, is it have it, it have value of truth in it. In junior high school, a lot of people must like the Mexicans, the Africans, right? And I remember this one particular kid. He was um walking. He was walking up the hall with his girlfriend, and you know, even at a young age, the Mexican, the Latino, they already taught young to cater to their men. This is young. We in Elementary school, so what? Well, how old are you are? I mean, junior high school, 12, 13. You just become a teenager when you basically enter junior high school. So, make a long story short, this Mexican girl walking up the walking up the hall, holding her boyfriend hand, right? So, y'all know the troublemakers, the instigators. They see the guy and they like this girl. She was pretty. So, make a long story short. They stayed, they approached, it was two do, two guys, because you know most of the time when you have a troublemaker, they can't do it alone, it, it's either them and two other people or them and other people, troublemakers and instigators, they never could do that on their, on their own, so that's why I never respected them, they cowards, man, so anyway, um, the two guys approached the girl and her, and her um, boyfriend at the time, and they stepped to the guy whatever and asked him what he looking at. Just basically just starting trouble. Just want to try to embarrass him and humiliate him in front of his girl. And one of the guys and the, and the dude said something back. The guy didn't like it. And his girlfriend got into the middle of the guy that he was basically having an altercation with. And when his girl was stopping him, his partner came around and punched the guy in the face. On some sneaky... Hyena shit If y'all go online Like if y'all go online To like National Geographic Y'all type in Hyenas And how they pray And how they eat That's what the fuck they do While one of them Eating The other one's coming around And they scavengers So while Another animal Or even their own kind Eating They'll come around And fucking Do some grimy shit And, and come around And fucking snatch the meal on some fucking grimy shit. So that's basically what he did. And we in junior high school. So I know that dude probably incarcerated now. Because when people start doing that at a young age. That just show you how demonic they are most of the time. Doing like. Little. Underhanded shit. So. Did his partner come around and punch the guy in the face. He didn't knock him out. Because you know in junior high school. We not really that powerful to really. Knock somebody out like that. Unless you box. Or unless you. Doing some type of karate or mixed martial arts. You understand? So he come around and hit the guy. 
And a guy just held his face and was in shock. And his girl is trying to stop both of the guys and they take off running. The, the very, this is, this is during a, this is during lunchtime. The very next day, I see the same couple and she was walking up, she was walking around holding his hand like nothing ever happened. So the point I'm getting across is that you don't got to be a tough guy to be with any other race. But when you're with a black girl, you got to be a tough guy. You got to be a gangster. You got to be a drug dealer. You got to be a criminal. You got to be a murderer. This is you got to be to be with these females. You can't be yourself. If that was the other way around and it was a black female and two black men against one black guy, the female wants you. You got to be fucking Bruce Lee to keep this bitch happy. You got to be Bruce Lee. So what I'm getting across to y'all is that she will put you in a line of fire just for her satisfaction, man. She will put you in a line of fire for her satisfaction. While you in jail rotting or while you in the grave rotting, she's going to move on. And that's just how they are. Anything happens and you don't stand up for yourself and she feel like you back down, she's going to leave you. She's going to leave you anyway. But if you, she's going to leave you quicker if she see that you're a punk. Why can't I be a punk to be with you? What love got to do with being a punk or being smart or being scared? Ain't nothing wrong with being scared. When you're a young boy or you're a teenager because you don't know. So like I tell y'all, dog, she do not fuck with you, man, no matter what. If you're in front of your girl or your wife or whoever you are and you get embarrassed or somebody do something you don't do back or somebody try to harm you, rob you, jump you and you don't do nothing back, you might she's going to leave you anyway. But she's going to leave you faster. You might as well kiss her goodbye, brother. And that's all I can tell you, dog. She do not fuck with you, man. But if she's dealing with the white man, he won't have to go through none of this. She don't argue with him. She don't argue with him. She don't fight with him. Look at your job sites, man. When y'all go on your job sites and y'all got the brothers. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm cool with every race. This ain't got nothing to do with just badgering white people. Because it's some, it's some white people that's better than my own kind. So this ain't nothing badgering white people. Even if you look at the workforce. When you see how the sisters talk to the brothers. And you see how the sisters talk to the white man. It's totally different, man. Totally different. You waiting online to punch out. She'll let him skip you. But it make you wait. Oh, uh, 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 you can't go in front of me. But she'll let him skip you. It's fucked up, dog. She does not fuck with you, man. Keep that shit in your head. No matter how much she cooking for you. No matter how much she cleaning for you. Whatever she doing is something that's benefiting her while she got you around, while she tolerating you. Either it's good dick or it's good company. Or you giving her some type of money or you doing both. She do not fuck with you, dog. At all. She can't fuck with you. That's in her nature not to fuck with you. Y'all got y'all brothers gotta fucking wake up, man. Y'all gotta wake up. She does not fuck with you, man. If you're gonna deal with her, deal with her to the very, very, very minimum, man. Get what you could get out of her, man. Cause she does not fuck with you, man. And I'm telling y'all that shit now. Whether y'all like it or not, it is what it is, man. You can't change a cat from meowing. You can't change a dog from barking. It is what it is, man. Love yourself, man. Save yourself, black man. Love yourself, hug yourself, take care of yourself. And keep being great. All of y'all kings, I love each and every one of y'all. And I'm going to start picking up with the, with the videos, man. I've just been away for a while, running around, trying to get myself right. Spiritually, mentally, physically, everything. I'm trying to get myself together, man. This fucking devilish world we in, man. The world is over, bro. Take care of you, man. Because when judgment day come, the most high is going to judge you for what you did in your human experience, brother. That's all I can tell y'all, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, man. And cover your fucking six, man. Shout out to TMT, Von Doom, Black Ram. Y'all already know. I love y'all, man. Scrap, stay woke, man. Cover your fucking six, man. I love y'all, man. Have a great day. Be safe. Keep your head up. And all of y'all's kings, man. If nobody told y'all, I'm telling y'all. Y'all fucking kings, man. I love y'all, man. Scrap, stay woke.